to the last five meetings against Rockford. This gets picked off by Cross. Hannah's puck in front, and they score. A misplay behind the Rockford net ends up in the cage. Grand Rapids capitalizes, and Cross Hannes gets rewarded with the goal after he fed the puck towards the blue paint. 13.07 left in the first, and Rockford surrenders a fluky goal. If it is Hannes' tally, it'll be his eighth of the campaign. Camesso came back to play it behind his net, and Hannes got a piece of it, and it looked like that might have glanced up. all the way across the blue line. Luff waiting for it. Tuomisto gets it back. He pivots towards the point. This is Hiroshi looking in. Wrist shot tipped in, and they score. A great tip in front that time gives Grand Rapids a 2-0 lead. It is Marco Casper, his 12th goal of the year. It comes on the power play. 6.24 left here in the first, and the Griffins are out to a rip-roaring start. Good puck work there by the Griffins. Hiroshi got that shot through to the front, and then it was Casper able to work his magic in front of the blue paint, just tipped it right under the glove arm of Drew Camesso. Without some of their top guns in the lineup here tonight, Grand Rapids has played a very solid game. This is a deep GR squad. Casper with the puck in front, pass across, one-timer, they score! Antti Tuomisto makes it 3-0, and the Griffins are in charge here at the BMO Center. A four-on-four -four goal for Antti Tuomisto, his fifth goal of the year, set up by Casper, a saucy pass across the slot. 6.05 left in the second period, and Rockford faces an even steeper uphill climb. Icehawks got caught in a change, it looked like, and Casper flipped it over the stick of Austin Strand, and then Tuomisto was able to rifle it past the glove of Camesso of the Ring of Honor, joining Corey Crawford and J.F. Rivard. Philip Roos gets a shove from Zach Aston Reese. Here comes Roos, marking in, he shoots, he scores! Hello, Philip Roos, Hogs are on the board. Philip Roos said, I'll do it myself. He took the puck off the wall and then blazed one the blocker of Kosa. 314 left in the second. Look at this play by Roos walking right around Joel Lesperance and then a powerful wrist shot past the blocker of the 6-7 netminder. It's just the second goal of the year for Philip Roos. He's got a lot of offense to his game. Big body out there. They list him at 6'3". He plays a little bit bigger and heavier than that. Soderblom, puck in front. Camesso with a pad save to keep it out. Luff was parked right on the doorstep, and Camesso kicked him off the porch. Gutman in the corner with Rockford breathing a sigh of relief. It back. Here comes Cini. One-timer. Pitlick fanned on it. It was open. Kosa didn't get over. One-timer, Gutman, he scores! Cole Gutman torches the back of the net. One goal game, and the Hogs are on the move. Ten goals in 11 games for Cole Gutman. Pitlick couldn't set up the one-timer. Cini worked hard to get it back to the high slot. And Cole Gutman tickles the twine over the blocker of Sebastian Kosa to make it 3-2. to two. Front bounces down to the corner, and Dominic Schein was poke-checked by Phillips. This is Pitlick. Across, Gutman shoots, and they score! Nothing but net for Cole Gutman! And the madness is on here in March. The Hogs come back to tie the game here in the third. the game. 331 left in the third, and the Ice Hogs have even things up. They have scored three straight. Cole Gutman has four goals 
In his last three games, he has 11 in his last 11. Here in the Rockford zone as Roos takes a punishing hit from Zach Aston Reese. Aston Reese wraps it around. Camesso a save. Where is it? They're looking for it. Camesso looks like he might have it stopped, and they point to it and say goal. Grand Rapids has scored with 1.16 left in the third. A big goal for the Griffins makes it 4-3. Here's the call. It's a goal. 4-3. Grand Rapids has taken a late lead. 116 left in the third. Here's the replay. You see Roos loses his stick. He tried to pick it up. The puck was right there. Aston Reese gets around him. Oh, that went off of Philip Roos, I think. I think that went off of one of the hogs in front and bounced into the back of the net. Let's take another look here. Yeah. That bounced off of Philip Roos and into the back of the net.